Welcome to iLecture Online. Here's something interesting to think about. Back in the old days, when they tried to convince people that the Earth was a sphere and that people lived on the other side of the sphere, they said that's impossible because if they did, they would simply fall off. And here's a little picture of what that would look like. So they said the Earth cannot be round like that. But then of course, as time went on, we showed that the Earth is indeed a sphere. And then we discovered through using physics that people actually weigh less at the equator than they do at the poles. And that is due to the rotational motion of the Earth. A typical person weighs about two to four ounces less at the equator, depending upon how big they are, of course, relative to what they would weigh at the poles. And that's about 50 to 100 grams for those who use the metric system. But then we could ask the question, well, what if the Earth was rotating faster because we know now that billions of years ago the earth made one complete rotation in six hours which is one quarter the time that it takes now because now it's about 24 hours and so people would weigh vastly less at the equator at that speed and then the question would come up of course how fast would the earth need to turn so that people would actually fall off the earth get flung off the earth, the earth would be spinning too fast. Just kind of like when a car goes around a, a sharp turn too fast, it will spin off the road. And in the same way, we would be tossed off the earth. So what we need to do is equate the weight to the centripetal force. And actually, when we think of the centrifugal force instead, the centrifugal force, which is the equivalent in magnitude as the centripetal force, but it points in the opposite direction, because that's what we sense when we go around the corner really fast. And then, of course, if the centrifugal force, as the centripetal force, would be bigger than the weight, the force due to gravity, we can calculate that would require a velocity of almost 8,000 meters per second, about 5 miles per second. Then, if we then realize that the Earth is about 40,000 meters in circumference at the equator, we divide that by the speed at which we would need to travel, that would require about 5,000 seconds for the rotational period of the Earth, which is about 1.4 hours. In other words, if the Earth were to spin or rotate so fast that it would make one complete rotation in 1.4 hours, the people at the equator would simply flung off the surface of the Earth. Anything that's not nailed down or tied down to the Earth's surface, like besides a tree, of course, which has roots in the ground, animals, rocks, everything would simply float away from the Earth because the Earth would be spinning too fast. It's kind of an interesting thought. Good thing we don't spin that fast. Can you believe it? I guess it's the density of the Earth. The mass of the Earth that keeps us from falling. So it does have to do with the mass of the Earth, the density of the Earth, and the radius of the Earth. Uh, if the Earth was less dense and the, the radius was bigger, then of course um, we would have to travel faster. Of course, Let's see that. Now, let's take a look at that. If R was bigger, hmm, now you make me think. If, is it hurting? Yes, it's, it's hurting. <laughs> this is kind of like one of those brain teasers, right? If the Earth was bigger, but this, with the same mass. Um, the mass of the Earth is not in the equation because it's related to mg. So if, if it was different, there would be a different g. The g would be different. That would depend on the density and the radius of the Earth. And R, of course, is there. But if R is bigger, it would, have, it would require a larger velocity. A larger velocity, of course, would be due to being further out. Uh, but I would say the velocity would increase faster than the radius because velocity is squared, which means if the Earth was bigger, you'd, the Earth wouldn't have to spin quite as fast. I think that would be my guess, that if the Earth was bigger with the same mass, we would spin, we would be able to rotate at a slower pace, a slow rotation before we would be flung off the Earth. Well, Mars is smaller, so that means you would have to rotate faster. It's less dense, which means you would have to rotate slower. Uh, I'd have to figure it out. I have to put on the board and <laughs> work it out. <laughs> it's one of those things that you got to be careful. Unless you work it out numerically, you're not going to figure it out. And there's Jupiter. Of course, you can't stand on Jupiter. 